Good morning. It is New Year's Eve. I have already gotten quite a bit done today. I vacuumed the floors. I've started laundry. I folded a ton of laundry, but I did not put it away because I'm putting that off, apparently. What else did I do? I feel like I've had a more productive morning, and then as soon as I start listing things off, I'm like, mm, was it really that productive? But I did get some things done, and on my priority list, I... Really, adding in that workout should be higher on my priority list, but I'm honestly, I'm kind of tired today. I think I slept too well last night. Do you ever get that where you sleep way too well and then the next day you're just like, oh, I wish I could just continue to lay in my bed and sleep because it was such a good sleep. I had a stomachache last night, so I woke up a couple times from that, but the baby slept the entire night. Every once in a while I had to get up and uh, put his pacifier in his mouth. But other than that, he slept until 7.30. And I haven't had that in a long time. He's about to turn six months. And yeah, I haven't had a really good night's sleep like that in a minute. So I'm getting kind of hopeful that with him starting to sleep through the night, that maybe I can make it so I wake up before the kids and do my workout. Because if I get that done right away, I feel like I have the most energy like half an hour after I wake up. I have maybe like an hour where I just want to do so much stuff and get things done so then I can be lazy the rest of the day. So if I can get myself up and moving in the morning, I think I could get that done. Um, but we'll see. It depends on if the baby is actually sleeping through the night or if last night was just a once in a while kind of thing. The plan today is to do some cleaning, to do maybe some Christmas decor, declutter, and then to maybe get my workout in. I'm still wearing my pajamas, and I'm trying to decide what I should do next. I really should do the bathrooms right now. Yeah, I, I should do the bathroom. Okay, I think I may have overdone it. <laughs> this is my lunch. It's my last day before I'm going to do keto. I'm starting keto tomorrow starting to plan what I'm going to be wearing. Not wearing. I've been starting to plan on different things that I'm going to be eating. I think tomorrow or the day after I'm going to go grocery shopping, but for a little bit, I do have a little bit of food that I can eat, but I need to get just more because I want some variety. Uh, this is my lunch. I made chicken fries and I have some veggies here because I thought this was a very brown plate, so I added veggies to make it pretty. We have leftover potatoes from Christmas yesterday and a leftover bun from Christmas yesterday that I toasted. Oh, I love. That's what I'm going to miss the most probably is bread. <laughs> That's my lunch. So far, I did finish doing the bathroom except for the toilet. I don't know if I'm going to get around to the hallway bathroom just because... I am going to try to get that workout in. <laughs> um, I'm going to miss potatoes too. Alright. I'm going to watch YouTube videos and eat. I'm putting on my tennis shoes right now and as I'm talking, it seems like the baby is waking up. His eyes are open. And he's babbling a little. He's not upset. Not upset yet anyways. So I may be putting on my tennis shoes, then going in there, grabbing him, and then feeding him. Oy. Someday I'll get this workout in. It's only 1.30 in the afternoon. Like I have plenty of time. It felt like it was about 4 in the afternoon right now, which if I don't have my workout in before 4 o'clock, it's just not happening because I have to start planning dinner, which I think tonight is leftover night because we got a lot of stuff from Christmas yesterday. So I won't really have to cook. I could wait until five o'clock even today to um, start planning dinner. Here comes the cat. So I have time. If he needs to wake up right now, that is fine. I'll figure it out. Look at my t-shirt. Well, sweatshirt. I go out to eat and I'm picky <laughs> and I hate customizing any food that's on the menu. So I just go with the chicken tenders <laughs> every single time I go out. 
pretty much unless they have burgers i like burgers too but i am gonna check the monitor now yeah i don't i don't think he's gonna go back to sleep so i'm gonna go get him i'm gonna feed him and then i have a little play mat in here that he can lay on while i'm exercising and that might be how i do it today excuse me okay up and over i guess I wanted to mention that bottle warmer there, the best for the price. It was only like 15 bucks from Walmart, the Parents' Choice one. So if you're looking for a cheap bottle warmer, that's a good one. Um, my son is very picky about his bottle temperature. It's never been too hot. It's sometimes been maybe a little bit cold, but most of the times it's just right. So it's a good cheap option. All right, now that the bottle's warming, I'm gonna go grab the baby. I have a happy, well-rested baby here. He finished his milk, so now we're just kind of relaxing for a minute. I don't usually like to put him down to do playtime or anything after drinking some milk. We, we sit together for like 10 minutes and he settles his stomach. Otherwise, I think I'd be cleaning up spit up a little more often than I do. Look at that bald head. I had no hair as a baby until I was like two. And so far with my kids, it's been the same way. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly hungry. I ate like an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half ago, two hours tops, but I'm hungry. So I grabbed my water and I'm going to do the workout. And if I'm still hungry after that, maybe I'll make a snack because, you know, it's like, the last supper today. Tomorrow is when I start paying more attention to what I'm eating. Oh, I feel like I ate everything I wanted to eat this week, so I'm almost kind of ready for a break. <laughs> a break from eating. I'm sure very quickly I'm gonna miss like buttered toast, but that's a nice thing about keto nowadays is that I saw keto bread in the store. I could have toast if I really want it. So I don't know. when I did keto years ago, like end of 2019, early 2020 was when I started. I, at least where I lived, could not find any keto products except for there was like this real good pizza that I would buy sometimes. And I really only bought that when I was feeling super lazy because Honestly, the keto pizza that I made was better. <laughs> this is my second go around on keto. I, I kind of have an idea of how keto works. I don't know if I do it in the healthiest way because I am such a picky eater that I do end up just eating meat and cheese and broccoli. That's basically it. <laughs> I'm sure there are people that do it a lot healthier than I do, but this is just temporary. I just need to lose the weight and then I need to establish my workout routine. And then after that, I will start eating a healthy foods that normal people eat. <laughs> At least hopefully that's what, that's what, that's the plan. Hopefully that is what happens. So I'm logging into my YouTube I'm gonna go to my workouts to try playlist. Okay, so today we are doing, well, I am doing, I'm gonna take credit for it. I'm doing the 15 minute toned arms workout, no equipment, and eventually I will get some weights, but today is not the day. We don't have a lot of money because Christmas. And then after that, I'm hoping to do the flowers, plank and abs workout and possibly the ice cream full body dance workout. We'll see if I can get to all of that, but um, for sure I'm gonna get that arm workout done. So I'm about five minutes into this arm workout and I'm just cycling through because she just went onto the floor and I probably should have anticipated that this was going to happen, that she was going to go on the floor and do arm exercises because like push-ups, classic arm exercise thing. It looks like there's some push-ups and stuff and like planks and stuff. After having the baby, for some reason, this wrist, it hurts pretty badly. I wear a brace every single night, but uh, for a while there, I could barely even pick up the kids. 
my wrist just hurt really bad. So I don't want to mess up my wrist further. So I'm going to skip all of the on the ground stuff. It looks like she gets off the ground at about 13 minutes in. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> oh, are these all the same workouts again? They probably are going to be, aren't they? I don't want to do them all again. I want something different. <laughs> Okay, so that arm workout is not one of my favorites. It maybe could be a favorite once I get my wrist figured out. I don't have a primary care doctor. I need to get one. So I'm going to move on to the flowers plank. Oh, a plank would require me to push off my hands too. Okay, we'll just move on to the ice cream dance. Um, and then after that, I have the dance the night full body workout. So maybe I'll just do those two. Possibly good for you also. Maybe. Okay, that dance out workout isn't working out. <laughs> I think because of maybe my bad knees. Complete beginner Pilates walk. Let's try that. Okay, that workout was boring. <laughs> oh, I'm just not having any good luck today. I can't find anything that I like. All right, I think this is the last video that I'm gonna try. MK Fit 1989 workout. I'm hoping, since this is my favorite Taylor Swift album, that I'm going to really enjoy this one. Please. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did not finish that workout, but that was by far the best workout that I did today, and it is going in the favorites category. I just, I just started dying. I'm sweating, which obviously is part of working out, but, um, also is getting a little hard to breathe. I am, um, overweight and a beginner, so working out is hard, but I figure if, as long as I get some movement in, that's the baby on the floor. <laughs> as long as I get some movement in, I'm doing better than I would if I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Woo! I'm still breathing hard. Okay. Um, so I turned on my Fitbit, but I only turned on my Fitbit for the last like 15 seconds of exercising. I've been flipping through workouts for about 45 minutes. Maybe 15 minutes of that was that workout that I was doing. I'm sorry, I'm still out of breath. I probably should be waiting to do this, but the baby is getting bored on the floor, so I got to move him pretty soon. My average beats per minute was 145. My maximum beats per minute was 181, and I burned 188 calories, and that probably did pick up the most of, like, most of what I was doing during my workout. The other workouts were me starting them, disliking them, and moving on. So what was that last workout? I know it was by MK Fit. It was 1989. That was the best workout that I did today, but I was getting so frustrated with the workouts that I was doing before that one. I didn't think I was going to get any workout in at all, but then when I turned on that one and I actually started enjoying it, I literally felt like I could cry because I was just feeling a little defeated that I couldn't find something that I wanted to do. I don't want exercise to be something that I hate. I want it to be something that I like. So that's why I'm going through all of these videos. And I have to remember probably a bulk of them I'm not going to like. <laughs> but I really liked MK Fit because she was kind of, I wouldn't really call it dancing. It was more like workouts to the music, more so than dancing. I would say Mad Fit was maybe more dance focused and like hidden workouts more whereas mk fit was more workouts hidden as dance does that make sense to even me <laughs> i don't know but i enjoyed it and she actually like broke down what she was going to be doing before each song started and it wasn't too many moves and i don't know it, it's just dancing is not my thing but i enjoy 
doing it. It just is more fun. So that that was easier for me. MK Fit was easier. Maybe I can work my way up to doing the Mad Fit dances once I'm a better dancer. I hear you. He's staring up at me. He's He's been learning different ways to talk. Right now, he really likes going like... And blah, 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 blah. Anyways, the point is, I enjoyed that workout, and I'm done for the day. I'm sweaty. Um, what time is it? It's 3 o'clock. So, I should probably finish my laundry. I forgot about it. Oops. Am I recording? I finished all of my laundry. The only dirty clothes that I have are the clothes that I'm wearing and the clothes that the kids are wearing. So I'll probably end up doing more laundry tomorrow. Uh, I also want to get my bed sheets done, but laundry is just never ending. I'm going to cross it off my list anyways, though. The rest of my night is going to be super boring. It's New Year's Eve, but I'm just going to warm up leftovers. I'm going to eat popcorn tonight because it's kind of my last night to really indulge in the popcorn. I can have a little bit on keto, but... Not a lot of popcorn, and oh, I love popcorn so much, I'm going to miss it. I hope you had a great holiday, and that you have a great New Year's, and you do fun things in 2024, all that jazz, and I will see you next time. Bye!